Hello guys, today we'll see a complete application based on uh, SQL Server, .NET and Angular. So in this we need to create a database first. In our database we will have three tables. Uh, first one is countries table which we are going to use as a drop down in our front end. Second will be our customers table which we are going to use it as a primary table. Because against every customer we have orders list. So now open a new query. Now we are going to create our tables and writing their scripts. Here first of all we need to write use master cause uh, in master we have all the configurations. Then we are going to write go statement which basically indicates current batch. Now first of all we need to create a table. And our first table will be customers table. For table creation we need to write create table customer command. In customer table our first attribute will be id and its data type is begin. We are uh, assigning it another uh, constraint which is identity. Basically SQL Server implement it by itself. Its first parameter is 1 which means we are going to start it by 1 and second parameter is also 1 which means we are going to increment it by 1. To this id attribute we are going to assign two more uh, constraints which is not null and primary key which will indicate our id attribute as the primary key of this table. Our second attribute will be first name and uh, data type is nvarchar and uh, its length must be 100. But for string we have uh, different kind of uh, data types like character, n character, uh, varchar or n varchar. It all depends what we need at a particular moment. For example, we can use character which we uh, use when we need a fixed number of uh, string. In case of nchar, we can store unicodes but uh, its length will be also fake. Third, we can use varchar. Its length could vary but but its storage will be one byte and we can't store unicode characters in it. Fourth will be nvarchar uh, in which length can vary and also it can store unicode. So mostly in our database we are going to use nvarchar for our string uh, attributes. And now a third attribute will be last name. And next attribute will be registration date whose data type is date time. Next is is active whose type is bit. Bit will store true or false, one or zero in it. Okay. Next is is deleted. Its data type is also bit. Also to bit attribute we can uh, assign default value. Then we have an attribute address one whose data type is nvarchar. Another is address2 whose data type is also nvarchar. Then there is city. And 
and uh, another one is country ISO whenever we store country information then mostly we try to uh, save ISO code and uh, for that purpose we have its data type character and its length will be 2 this is our customers table this patch is completed so exactly in this pattern we need to create two more tables and execute their script Now I'm going to write a database name here in which uh, I need to execute these tables. So I've created its patch. Now create database customer db. This is the name of our database in which we will execute these three tables. Now after creation we need to use it for record creation. Now we just execute it. After execution we can check it either it's created or not. Here are DBs, customer DB. In this we have these three tables, countries, customer and customer order.